It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. Iloilo City Province is pushing for the declaration of a state of calamity due to the massive flooding and devastation caused by Agaton. The Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council made the recommendation on Wednesday, signing the province's multi-million peso losses in the agricultural sector. The PDRRMO also recorded more than 672,000 individuals adversely affected by the tropical depression. This is 40.16% of the province's total population. More than 6,000 houses received partial damages, while 543 were totally damaged. 20 towns overall were affected, with 8 having already declared a state of calamity. According to the PDRRMO head, Dr. Jere Bionat, the criteria for the declaration of a state of calamity in the province has already been met. The declaration will allow the programming or reprogramming of funds for the repair and upgrading of public infrastructure and facilities as well as grant no-interest loans to sectors most affected by the calamity. Iloilo City is temporarily banning the entry of poultry and other related products from Luzon due to the reports of avian influenza. In an executive order issued by Mayor Jerry Pitrenas, the entry of live birds, both poultry and non-poultry, are prohibited from entering the city, effective immediately until May 9. The ban also covers egg products such as table eggs, salted eggs, quail eggs, and embryonated eggs, or balut. The ban encompasses all species of live birds with the exception of day-old breeder chicks, day-old pullets, and hatching eggs from the entire Luzon. Moreover, these exempted products must only be sourced from farms located in municipalities or cities free from incident of the avian influenza disease. They must also comply with all shipping permit requirements. The provincial government of Negros Occidental is hoping that there will be no upsurge on COVID-19 cases after the 2022 national and local elections on May 9. This was following the warning of the city's health experts of a possible increase in infections. Provincial Administrator Refrando Diaz said the capital remains cautious and continues to implement stringent screenings of inbound people in various seaports of the province and at the Bacolod Silay City Airport. Last week during Lent, arrivals from Iloilo and Metro Manila were required to present their vaccination cards while persons who were either partially vaccinated or unvaccinated were told to undergo rapid antigen tests. According to Diaz, these measures should be enough to prevent a surge in COVID cases. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Samuel Castellano. Good evening. stories, check our website www.panaynews.net Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Panay News on Press Reader. Read Panay News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.